All hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Since hopping into fragrances, I have always been shocked and surprised with what perfumers are able to do with fragrances. And as a consumer and as a creative director, I tend to dive in a little bit more just so I can have a great understanding about what's going on. But Today's fragrances I want to mention does things a little bit different. Today we're going to go over five weird but out of this world fragrances everyone needs to try. Now the first fragrance comes from one of my favorite fragrance brands and that is the House of Killian and this one is Killian's Apple Brandy, the New York City exclusive. Now, as I just mentioned, this one was a New York City exclusive and it was originally made to pay homage to the city of New York, but since its release, it's taken on a life of its own. Now, the weird thing about this fragrance is how prominent the cognac note is within it. Now, quite frankly, if I wasn't into fragrances, it would be an uphill battle to convince me that I would be into a fragrance that would have me walking around smelling like bulls, but that's prior to getting my nose on it. To me, apple brandy is this perfect blend of sweetness and warm booziness. Now, I must admit that apple brandy is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, so it may not be worth the hunt as the original is becoming a bit more difficult to find, but if you wanna try it, be sure to check out the links down below, or you can also try out apple brandy on the rocks, which is going to give you a more watered down feel. Now, the next fragrance I wanna talk about comes from an affordable niche fragrance brand in my personal opinion and this one comes from the house of commodity and this one happens to be commodities book book is this warm yet unexpectedly fresh and woody fragrance that's centered around the notes of sandalwood and cedarwood to me within book there is this specific crisp nature which i really enjoy now i'll be the first to admit that book doesn't necessarily remind me of smelling a book i'm not like walking around smelling books all willy nilly, but um, there is something there that transitions from the top into the mid. Now, as it begins to do that, it goes into this cedar wood and this sandalwood aramis that almost reminds me of briskly flipping through the pages of a brand new book, you know, like, yeah kind of like that. To me, book is calming, it's relaxing, and can be used as a distressing agent, almost like reading a book that you enjoy. So if you're looking to try out a fragrance from the house, be sure to try out book. Get that one on your list as ones to smell. Now, I remember coming across this next fragrance as I was preparing for a trip to Osme Perfumery down in the Wynwood District of Miami. If you're in that area or plan to visit that area and you are a fan of fragrances, be sure to check them out. They have a beautiful spot with tons of fragrances like the one I'm about to mention. So as I mentioned, I came across this fragrance as I was planning to go down there and I was searching through the internet and I came across this channel or just a person speaking about being in that store and they talked about having a fragrance that smelled like ice cubes. Now I found that to be intriguing as if you know anything about fragrance or how fragrances are made, there is no way to extract a note or from an ice cube itself, right? That's not how things work. So with that said, I knew there was some creativity with this fragrance and that fragrance is St. Julep from Imaginary Authors. And when smelling this thing, I was not disappointed. St. Julep is sweet mint, bourbon, tangerine, and sugar. This one is a great fragrance, one that I really enjoyed wearing down in Florida, specifically in the spring and summer. There was something about this fragrance that was extremely intriguing and I did get that ice cube vibe. Today, I don't wear the fragrance as much as I once did or would like to, but it definitely takes me on a journey every time I wear it. So be sure to get your nose on this scent, you won't be disappointed. The next fragrance I wanna talk about comes from a long line of goat tier fragrances if we're talking about creativity within the design designer world space. This fragrance comes from Maison Margiela and this one is that of Music Festival. Now Music Festival is interesting because it came out with a splash, it went away for a quite a while and now it is back. Now to be clear, I have not tried the latest releases of Music Festival to know if there has been any change in the way the fragrance smells but I'm going to give you my opinion on the original and if it's anything like that then I think you'll be good to go. So as I mentioned, Music Festival is part of the 
replica line and this one sets out to replicate a music festival. Those who choose to wear a music festival are invited to escape reality with notes of fresh bud, patchouli, leather accords, and some incense oil. Now I myself have never been much of a festival goer, but here in Tennessee I'm hearing that there's one called Bonnaroo which is major. <laughs> and I don't know if it smells like this. Now what I will say is that thinking of the note breakdown and what music festival could represent and what the entire replica line does, I think that this fragrance would be a great modern interpretation of what a Woodstock 1969 might have been. More modern, more classy, and a bit more, well, smelling good. Now, if you decide to give Music Festival a chance and you can get past that opening of that cannabis accord, then I think you'll find this fragrance to be quite soothing overall. Now, the final fragrance I wanna talk about today comes from the House of Oud, T-H-O-O, -O, and this one is What About Pop? And no, we are not talking about smoke. This one here is one that is truly interesting and truly unique to me because what this fragrance does. Now, I am a gourmand lover, which is why I'm talking about this fragrance last. If you're new to this and you're not familiar with what gourmand fragrances are, it simply means it smells like some type of food or something that you would eat. What about pop? From the design, it's a very unique design here. You may be able to relate this back to what it could smell like. And some things that come to mind are caramel, which, has, which it does have in here. But this one is really based on the notes of popcorn. Yes, you heard me correct. This one is based around popcorn. If you are a popcorn lover, you are going to enjoy this fragrance. Situations that you will wear this is for that cuddle buddy activity, close encounters. This one is salty and sweet and quite different than most things you're gonna find on the designer market. In fact, I don't think you're gonna find anything that smells like this on the designer market. I think this fragrance is cool, it's unique, and a good way to really understand how fragrances, in fact, all of these fragrances, are really help you transform of what a fragrance could possibly be because it can be anything now that's what i have for you today as it comes down to these fragrances those are five weird because all of those have weird notes within them fragrances that i think everyone should try now if you got a little coin left be sure to head over to novitas parfum to check out my latest collection which features three bangers if i had to say so myself exo brandy siesta drive and the key also if you want to try out the entire line and all the collection we also have the discovery sets now available one in the red box and one in the black box the black box is going to be all of those fragrances that are there for that signature scent and the red ones are going to be there for that seductive close encounter cuddle buddy action that's all i got for you guys and girls today as always i'm your boy big bb don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend that we all back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn. Bell.